In the 2010s, the internet brought us together and tore us apart. I thought it was white and gold. Blue and black. Yeah, yeah, me. No. The world changed. 2015, the height of Europe's migrant crisis. But the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. Seven billion people on planet Earth. Seven billion? As in billion. Wow. America progressed. The cheers rang out from the steps of the Supreme Court. Supporters celebrating a landmark ruling, making same-sex marriage legal in all 50 states. But politics grew more divisive than ever. Since President Obama's health care law was enacted, 3.1 million people under the age of 26 are now covered by their parents' plans. We said we would have a straight up or down vote to repeal this health care law, and that's precisely what we are doing here today. Voting the deal down will lead to more uncertainty. Well, yeah. None of us know where we're going to end up. In Venezuela, President Nicolas Maduro has been declared the winner of a contested presidential election. This despite a devastating economic crisis in that nation. The main opposition boycotted Sunday's vote, calling it illegitimate. After more than half a century of revolt, the Republic of the South of Sudan is fulfilling its dream. The people have won the right to write their own history. Right now, a historic moment, Donald J. Trump will become the 45th president of the United States, defeating Hillary Clinton in a campaign unlike anything we've seen in our lifetime. No collusion. No collusion. There was no collusion with Russia. Special counsel Robert Mueller could not establish conspiracy between any members of the Trump team and Russia. If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. We did not, however, make a determination as to whether the president did commit a crime. President Trump now playing defense as members of the House Intelligence Committee had their first look at the whistleblower complaint, which raised concerns about the president's conduct in calls with foreign leaders. I didn't do it. There was no quid pro quo. No quid pro quo. Quid pro quo. Article 1 is adopted. Donald J. Trump has become the third U.S. president ever to be impeached. Alexa. Over the last decade, technology became more part of our lives than ever before. We call it the iPad. That's what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and order the car. You essentially can control the exact picked up location so the driver knows exactly where to look for you. You have become the wealthiest man in the world. So what is Instagram? There are 17 different filters that you can apply to photos which make them look different. DVD mail order centers like this one are now giving way to online streaming for Netflix's 25 million subscribers. Welcome to Washington. And created controversy over how much power tech companies should have. The stakes couldn't be higher for Zuckerberg and Facebook after revelations that the personal data of as many as 87 million users was improperly obtained by the firm Cambridge Analytica. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake. And I'm sorry. Well, I, sitting at my desk, uh, certainly had the authorities to, to wiretap anyone from you or your accountant to a federal judge to even the president if I had a personal email. The world saw attacks. We have horrible news out of Paris, France. Two heavily armed men at least attacked the offices of a French satirical magazine. At 9.49, shots are reported at Bataclan. Attackers fired pump rifles into the crowd, shouting, Allo Akbar. Yesterday, our US diplomatic post in Benghazi, Libya, was attacked. Four Americans were killed. Just after 10 p.m. Sunday night, gunfire rained down on a crowd of 22,000 country music fans along the Las Vegas Strip. Within minutes, dozens lay dead, hundreds more injured. Wow, that was an intense explosion. And look at the reaction. Wow. That, we're was seeing this one. For the, that was one, we're yeah. saying there were two. 6 7 Sandy Hook School. Callers indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. The majority of those who died today were children. Beautiful little kids between the ages of 5 and 10 years old. 
I am sorry to have to report here that we're talking about a high school. This is Parkland, Florida. Shots have been fired. They say that no laws could have been able to prevent the hundreds of senseless tragedies that have occurred. We call BS that us kids don't know what we're talking about, that we're too young to understand how the government works. We call BS. The world saw disasters. Port-au-Prince, Haiti, the epicenter of this uh, dr horrible earthquake which has struck here uh, more than 24 hours ago. Wherever you are watching this broadcast throughout the world, I hope you can hug a loved one close and thank God that you are not in Port-au-Prince tonight. We have breaking news right now. Malaysia Airlines confirms it has lost contact with the plane carrying 227 passengers and 12 crew members. We wasted over a week searching in areas that had nothing to do with the aircraft's location. It began with a powerful explosion less than 24 hours ago. A column of flames shooting into the night sky over the Gulf of Mexico. Gushing out of control, spewing as much as 40,000 barrels of crude a day. That's the latest estimate from researchers, and it's twice the amount of previous estimates for the Gulf of Mexico oil disaster. A 7.9 earthquake in Japan, a powerful quake. And we know at this point that a tsunami warning has been issued covering Japan, Papua New Guinea. Meanwhile, Japanese news media report the radiation may have seeped out of a nuclear reactor about 160 miles north of Tokyo. Sandy moved from hurricane to superstorm, living up to the new name. Hundreds, if not thousands of people have been evacuated throughout the day. Puerto Rico was absolutely obliterated. Their electrical grid is destroyed. Officials warn it could be months before electricity is restored. People fought for what they believed in. An unarmed African-American teenager shot dead by a white police officer, dividing the city of Ferguson. This tear gas just dropped right near us. It's going to get very bad here if we don't have masks. We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. Black Lives Matter! No justice! No peace! Wall Street! Our street! Wall Street! Our street! Things got bailed out! We got sold out! We are February 11th, 2011, Egyptians are celebrating across the country. After 18 days of intense protest, President Mubarak has stepped aside. We kill our brothers! Here in Hong Kong, massive crowds have been marching through the city streets. Standing up to the city authorities, and by extension, standing up to one-party rule on mainland China. The Harvey Weinstein case inspiring a movement on Twitter right me too as a reply to this tweet. Tens of thousands of women and men responded. I am here to tell you that I will not rest until every last trace of your influence on this sport has been destroyed like the cancer it is. Finally, Bill Cosby has been unmasked and we have seen the real man as he is headed off to prison. Thousands marched on parliament, many of them children. The message, it's time today's current leaders took stock of the environmental legacy they're leaving behind. People are suffering. People are dying. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. And all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? But as the decade wraps up, we like to remember the moments we celebrated together. Jubilant Cubs fans celebrate the moment they've been waiting for. Celebrations 108 years in the making as Chicago emerges victorious from World Series 2016. The path of totality is tracing a 70 mile wide ribbon from sea to shining sea, from Oregon to South Carolina. It's the great American eclipse. To feel the excitement and the significance of such a historical wedding was really at times overwhelming and emotional for me and Kate was breathtaking. From a blind date to a royal I do, Prince Harry and American actress Meghan Markle are officially husband and wife. And we do have breaking news at this hour of the best possible variety to bring to you. All 12 boys, every child from that soccer team has been rescued from that flooded cave in Thailand after 18 days. Malala Yousafzai becomes the youngest person ever to win the uh, Nobel Peace Prize. This award is for all those children whose voices need to be heard. And I speak for them, and I stand up with them, and I join them in their campaign that their voices should be heard.